next speaker, Mr. W. D. Vikram Singh, uh, who is an MPhil uh, scholar in the Faculty of Medical Sciences, University of Sri Jawaharlal and his uh, study is on the association of glutathione per peroxidase one activity.
coronary angiogram reports were analyzed by a cardiologist and the severity of coronary stenosis was assessed by a score based on a method described by Saliman in 1990. Following uh, four co major coronary arteries were assessed, left main coronary artery, left anterior descending artery, left circumflex artery and right coronary artery. If there is more than no equal 70% stenosis in lumen, even a score of 1. Meanwhile, left main coronary artery with more than no equal 70% stenosis was considered as single vessel disease. Therefore, vessel score ranged from 0 to 3. Uh, SP, SPSS 15 statistical software was uh, used to data analysis, uh, independent sample t test, and when Pearson correlation was used as statistical, uh, statistical test. Uh, Erythrocyte uh, GPX1 concentration uh, in angiogram possible cases were uh, 103.2 plus or minus 33 units per liter, and here the volunteer source. 165.2 plus or minus 43 units per liter. This has revealed that GPS-1 activity is significantly low in angiogram positive patients when compared to controls. This figure shows how GPS-1 levels lies between cases and controls. Uh, GPS-1 levels in vessel score groups of coronary disease patients as single vessel disease was 101.2. Double vessel disease was 102.1 and triple vessel disease was 111.2. This has revealed a moderate relationship between GPX1 activity and vessel scope. In conclusion, erythrocyte GPX1 may be a helpful indicator in assessing the severity of coronary disease based on vessel scope. Finally, I would like to acknowledge National Research Council for providing funds. Uh, and following hospital and centers. Thank you. Thank you for that. The paper is now open for discussion. That was a good presentation. I'm just wondering now, you have said that having high peroxidase level prevents coronary artery disease. Is that what you're trying to show? Uh, actually, uh, EPX1 is an antioxidant. Yes. Uh, that's a selenium containing uh, antioxidant. Uh, we we uh, revealed uh, in uh, CAD patients uh, low in uh, EPX1, uh, but our controls, uh, there's a healthy volunteer, a healthy volunteer uh, which uh, they, they uh, come to routine in the screen program. Uh, so, uh, we selected as uh, they uh, healthy, healthy people. Uh, their EPS1 uh, levels uh, was uh, high, high uh, significantly higher than the cases. Uh, so uh, we suggest uh, there there may, may be a uh, indicator for identifying the coronary uh, disease patients from the uh, population, and also uh, that selenium containing goods may be. Uh, in case the GPX1 uh, enzyme in body, so uh, uh, some uh, literature says uh, that uh, uh, in case uh, after uh, bypass O, uh, there are PTCA, GPX1 level uh, goes uh, high. So uh, I think uh, GPX1, uh, in, in case GPX1 level uh, may be a, uh, help, uh, helpful uh, to prevent the coronary disease. Can you use it as a predictor more than other sort of symptoms? Uh, yes, uh, that's a, uh, this is the part of the study. Uh, we we uh, test uh, other uh, antioxidants like paraffinase uh, and uh, other lipid parameters. Uh, that uh, all result revealed uh, in uh, linear uh, regression, GPX1 uh, have uh, more uh, susceptible uh, enzyme uh, to uh, cause coronary disease. Thank you. Are there any further questions? I'm not, I'm not into cardiology at all, as you as I, I was introduced as a microbiologist. Just, in, uh, just a question that arises in me is, you've got. Uh, 
quaternary angiography, I assume, are people who are symptomatic and who are you know, contemplating surgery, coronary bypass surgery. Uh, for to be a good predictor, no, you need to be much earlier in the course, aren't you? Do you have a group that is much earlier in their in their coronary disease course? I mean, how 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 do you identify such a group? Yes. Uh, our, our cases uh, are uh, coming to hospitals uh, with the uh, unstable angina. Uh, so our, uh, our one of co co-authors is a consultant cardiologist. Uh, he he uh, identified this, these patients should uh, go and uh, undergo into angiogram, uh, angiogram uh, investigation. So uh, we take the uh, blood samples before angiogram, uh, angiogram uh, investigation. Uh, after uh, angiogram finding is uh, we reveal uh, they have some uh, stenosis in their heart. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.